I don't know if you guys are familiar with the internet or social media, but both of those things are being dominated by a little thing called the Ice, Ice Bucket, Bucket Challenge. Challenge. It is more important than anything you've ever done. At least that's what my newsfeed tells me. And everyone from your aunt to your aunt's dog to your dog's aunt to Leonardo freaking DiCaprio is getting in on this entire thing. And if Leonardo DiCaprio nominated you, I think you would do it. I mean, it's Leonardo DiCaprio. I would murder a drifter for him if he asked me. I wouldn't even ask why. But there's one guy who staunchly refused Leonardo DiCaprio. This man is not an Academy Award. This man is our Prime Minister, Stephen Harper. Mr. Harper plans to one-up Leo, like the charismatic Prime Minister he is. He's headed to the world's biggest ice bucket, Canada's Great White North. And honestly, there are a fair share of challenges up there that he tended to when he went up with a crew in late August. Like, I don't know, finding the lost crew of John Franklin. How did those 128 white men with no supplies go missing in the Arctic? It's a mystery to me because that's more important than the unsolved murders of 1181 Aboriginal women that currently actually inhabit the zone that he's having a nice vacation in. Also, he had some unfinished business with Mr. Claus, who may be, uh, you know, on the fence on his naughty or niceties in the last couple of years. So Harper, he had his plate full, and it must have been a real shock to him when he got up to the Great White North last month and found out it wasn't so great and white at all. He found out that there's just not enough white people up there for his liking. While he was busy taking pump action stealthies, taking snow angels out back, uh, we were learning that the diet of your average Inuit child is so atrocious and underwhelming that it actually stunts their growth. Which must be news to our fearless leader, Stephen, who probably did not know that you needed, you know, food and nutrition to thrive and survive everywhere in the world. You know, come to think of it, the lost expedition of John Franklin and Stephen Harper, that's a pretty apt comparison. Except there is one key difference. When Stephen Harper goes missing, I don't think anybody's gonna go looking for him.